Hello everybody, welcome back. We are here this time to talk about the 2007 Marilyn Manson album, Eat Me, Drink Me. Which I remember when this came out. Uh, I bought it on iTunes when I was in middle school. Um, and uh, that's, that's funny because that's why I'm including Marilyn Manson at this portion of my musical history. Because even though there were songs I had heard before then, and then I bought this album, and then there was maybe a couple of songs I heard... Um, you know, around this time as well, I still wasn't really all the way in at this point, right? Because, <clears throat> like, at this point, I still hadn't heard all of Mechanical Animals or all of Antichrist Superstar. Like, I hadn't heard, like, a single full album from Marilyn Manson. This was my first full album uh, listening uh, for Marilyn Manson um, at, at the time. So, uh, yeah. Odd one to start with, I guess, because it's very different. Um, and I, I think there's some people who, like, fucking hate this album. And, like, I guess I get that from a certain point of view where, like, this isn't really what you were hoping for necessarily. You wanted probably Antichrist Superstar because that's what everyone apparently wanted was just do the same thing again forever. <laughs> I don't... I'm not happy with just listening to the album that I enjoy. I want more of the same albums, basically. Um... But anyway, uh, this album's pretty solid, in my opinion. It's different, but to me, different doesn't equal bad. I know there's lots of people where if something's different than what they wanted, they get, like, upset, and they reject it completely. Uh, happens all the time with um, movie sequels or um, uh, fucking video game sequels or spinoffs or whatever. People people are quick to be pissed off when something isn't what exactly what they wanted. Um, or especially if it's, like, different than the previous, uh, things that you've experienced that are related. Um, however, maybe I have a different perspective because I came into this one first. Um, but I didn't even necessarily love it the first time I heard it. It, it grew on me after a while. Um, and I didn't, I, I'll be honest, I don't know why I bought this album, I think I was just like, let's try it. You know, let's, let's, he just made this new album. It, it just came out like last week. I'm going to fucking listen to it. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't really have any expectations. Cause like I said, I knew very few songs from Marilyn Manson prior to buying this. And, uh, when I listened to it the first time, I was kind of not sure how I felt about it. There was a couple of songs that I definitely liked and then some of them where i wasn't sure if i liked them or if i disliked them or if i just like i didn't really have an opinion um however i have grown to mostly enjoy the entire album um like pretty much almost the entire thing it's almost a perfect album actually which is funny because I, I i don't think i would have said that if you asked me like 10 years ago but at this point uh yeah the only song that i'm not on board with is they said that hell's not hot I like every other track on this album just fine. Um, and some of these are, are really good, in my opinion. So let's talk about my top three here. Uh, my number three pick is going to be You and Me Make... Uh, uh, sorry. You and Me and the Devil Makes Three. Uh, a lot of that is because of the music in this case. Not that Manson's vocals aren't good or I, I like dislike the lyrics or anything. But the fucking music in this song is so cool sounding. Um, I really, really like it. Um, and, uh, okay, I guess our number two pick. It's going to be Heart Shaped Glasses, which is like the obvious choice, I suppose, and, and probably would have been obvious for number one. Uh, I do really like this song. It's not going to take my number one slot this time, though. Uh, good fucking song, though. It's really good. It just, it's, it's great uh and then my number one pick is going to be putting holes in happiness which um is one of the songs that grew on me because i don't think i i don't think i like i didn't hate it the first time i heard it but like i didn't register it necessarily like it just kind of you know i heard it and i was like mm, okay and then i just like didn't really think about it ever again and then i re-listened to the album in its entirety at one point and i was like oh i like this what the fuck like i've just been sleeping on this i guess or uh, I don't know, but I guess for some reason that one just like slipped by me for a long time and then eventually I was like, oh, I like this. <laughs> so that's why I enjoy revisiting things even if I'm pretty sure I don't like them, right? Because sometimes I realize that, um, 
you know, maybe I started skipping a song at one point and then just sort of forgot why, you know, and, and maybe it's not like, maybe it's not a song that I dislike. So um, every, every now and then, you know, I go back and revisit, uh, this mostly happens with music, but yeah, like I'll revisit some old music and I'll be like, oh, why the fuck do I always skip that? I like this, you know? Um, but yeah, uh, those are my top three. It's a pretty solid album, in my opinion. It's very different than all of his other albums. None of the rest of them sound like this before this. Uh, but that's okay, in my opinion. And there's um, there's there's some like harder-edged songs on here. Um, they're not quite the same as the harder-edged songs off of other albums, of course. But um, like if you want something that's a little more intense, well, You and Me and the Devil Makes Three is pretty... Um, pretty like sinister sounding it's pretty awesome are you the rabbit rocks pretty good um and uh, mutilation is the most sincere form of flattery is pretty uh pretty rocking um yeah just good music and um pretty good album overall i would say uh like i said almost actually a perfect album in my case um again though it's it's sort of like it'd be like golden age where if it was a perfect album it's it wouldn't be like the same level as mechanical animals or antichrist but still um the fact that you know an artist could ever make an album where i'm like i like every single song <laughs> like that's impressive um but he, you know he he managed it three times in a row and then very close to managed it uh, a couple of times afterwards um so far so anyway that's all i'm gonna say about this one uh, the next album is The High End of Low, and uh, we'll talk about that in the next video. So I'll see you guys next time, and thank you for watching.